This program contains harsh language and graphic violence. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to episode 14 of the Arcturian Apocalypse. Hello and welcome to the Advanced Age Role-Playing Gamers Podcast. I'm Nathan, I'm one of your hosts, and uh, tonight we are playing Alien. This is uh, episode 14 of uh, the Adventure Arcturian Apocalypse, right? Yep. Yeah. So just a uh, quick reminder, um, please uh, like and subscribe to our please. YouTube and, and subscribe to our podcast. And if you uh, like us, you can actually send us email at the AARPGs at gmail.com. You can you uh, talk to us on Twitter. Matt's very lonely. Super, super friendly. And uh, I don't know. That's a good idea. You, you can pick up our merch at Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're now at Hot Topic. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think we can pick it up at Hot Topic, but I'll be <laughs> Look, they're not Nathan, sponsors, can we, guys. Can, can Shut we tell up. our subscribers <laughs> any nice email? Please send to uh, on Discord. Buzzard Dog Hydra, and uh, <laughs> so, right. I'm very lonely. So, uh, by yeah, the way, pictures, everybody, please pictures subscribe. Of feet. This is our pension pictures plan. Pictures of feet and to Buzzard Dog Hydra. Yes, y yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, I'm going to hand things over to <laughs> Tyr, who is our game mother uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. Tyr, Tyr nice. take it away. Welcome, everyone. Don't, don't ask us for a recap. Oh, 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 I'm going to get a recap. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it a recap. <laughs> It has been 27 days, 23 hours since our last roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody like, keeps notes. It has been a bit of a, a bit of a time uh, since our last episode. Uh, so I will do the recap of hooray! the last adventure of Yay! Arcturian Apocalypse. Uh, you made your way underground through a series of natural caves uh, in pursuit of the Children of the Two Divines and Janice Rudy. Uh, and then you found a set of caves that were not naturally occurring uh, that were created by something totally alien if you might Big say douches. the motifs ranged anywhere from uh, giant humanoid heads with disapproving scowls to crazed splayed insectoid beings um, carved into the walls you made your way through this let's call it a temple uh, for lack of a better term. It looks like there might have been worship at, at one point by the native Arcturians of these people or these beings. Uh, and then you encountered uh, you encountered some more of the children of the two divines and one of the mission objectives, a uh, giggled institute scientist. Uh, you rescued that scientist, uh, albeit rather forcefully by breaking several of her ribs and bruising her and bruising her greatly cracking she her she, she shouldn't have resisted cracking her data pad uh, <laughs> uh, I'll crack more than that data pad and uh, I don't know how to take that <laughs> Dr. Tehal am I saying that correctly Malcolm you were you had the correct I was making up so it was, uh, oh you <laughs> son of a holy, bitch I really thought you had that it was Tahal because it was Tahal, like T-E yes. J-A-L, Tahal. Tahal. Uh, Alohi, uh, I like it like it was like yeah, Alohi, yeah. 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 I can't remember the first name, but. Tahal with that. <laughs> anyway, Dr. The Tahal. Gold, the gay gold scientist um, who was researching uh, a giant uh, uh, planetary sphere mechanism. Uh, and then when she translated and played some sort of alien tune, that mechanism came into life and displayed a holographic image in the chamber. Not a, nobody could really tell what it was. There were thoughts that it might be a star chart. There were thought there were thoughts that it might be organic. Um, and she said the words. What words did she say, Malcolm? Oh, I know the path of knowledge. Uh, this is the way of the gods. Something about being some sort of genetic map. There's something about the spheres. Oh, the, the music the of music, the, the music, music of the spheres, spheres. was the, was the which, music of his playing, yeah. which we heard at one point while in the cavern. Yeah. Right, it was it was yeah. being played by her data pad, which is now yeah. cracked. Did we shut to, that shit down? Thanks to one one uh, one private mason. Yeah, so um, broke, 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 PFC broke, mason. Thank you. Me. What? You're a PFC. Oh, yeah. sorry, PFC mason. Yeah. Don't worry, Sarge will change that. 
you discovered a, you discovered a hallway leading out of the Ori room, going upwards, and a distant sound at the end of that, um, coming echoing down the uh, smooth uh, chamber walls, and that's where we left off. You didn't say anything about me having a terrible limp. I did not say you anything about having your foot it's my pain and suffering mean nothing to you by a boulder. Those Our two episodes at us. home will have recognized and remembered that your foot was crushed by a bolt. Feel very bad for you. Your compatriots in the hand are like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, All I know is thank God for Doc. Just okay. Say. Hmm. So we left you off wandering down the straight corridor, heading at a slight upwards with yep. noise increasing as you went as you went along. I'm offended by the term wandering. I mean, literally Mason's up front doing point and the rest of us are wandering behind him. Yeah, it's really not that straight. <laughs> He's got wandering. Oh, look, look! I well, you're not wandering because do- because the Gagel- the Gagel Institute doctor pointed and said that they went that way. Mm. Yeah, we are going in a direction. Okay, and Let's that is where we be. We are to- we are today. All right, keep going forward. All right, on Tib, you move forward. This hallway is two meters wide. 50 meters long and nine meters high. Okay. That's and good. slants is- upward from the room you're in at a steep incline. Wait, wow. how wide again? It is two meters wide. Two it meters. is two meters wide and nine and meters nine? tall. Yes. Yeah. That's Who the bizarre. heck makes this crap? <laughs> Somebody. You saw the giant very skulls tall. or heads yeah. up yeah. there, right? Yes, yeah, very but tall, those were giant, person. Like, douche heads in effigy well, or something. You, you, you all have to know that those none if those skulls were actually the size of the being, they would not fit through this hallway. They would no. not have fit in any of the rooms that you've been in recently. <laughs> Unless so they I, have shrinking technology. So I, so I pull out my 10-foot pole and start prodding as I go. As, and, whoa, 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 what? As it's you, collapsible. This is science fiction. As you continue down the passageway. <laughs> A dull white noise starts and continues increasing the further you but go. But enough along about the, the sergeant. <laughs> God, God. Well, you gotta be a white noise, man. <laughs> that was good. Well, <laughs> you know how you know what it's it is. It's dull. Yeah, come on. So that's a start. <laughs> well, I move forward. It's dull, so it hurts more. <laughs> this is just going south. Okay, let's keep we keep okay. moving on. All right, you so keep moving on to the good. end of the passageway. Yep. Doc, carry me that way. Potter! (laughs) As you get to the end of the 50 meters, you enter a massive chamber that has a partially vaulted ceiling. Thank you. That bleeds from the constructed uh, portion of of, of the temple that you've been in back into natural rock. Oh my God! I thought you said that it was bleeding like bleed. Blood was coming down. Okay, I got you. You You are are entering a massive portion of the cavern complex okay wow uh, you would say that that it stretches out for at least another 50 feet in front of you natural rock ending in a shelf that's exactly what i would say but you can tell that somewhere in here there is a large moving body of water because the sound is so loud that normal <laughs> speech is almost impossible you can just hear the crashing of thousands and thousands of gallons of water. Mm. Okay. I find That's your transitions right. back and forth from metric to imperial very distracting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? I'm not telling you. Standard and a metric freaking toolkit. This is bizarre. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. There are hogsheads of water. <laughs> many, many hogsheads. thousands of hogsheads of water. There are so many fathoms <laughs> deep. <laughs> How many, how many, many telecams away are we? <laughs> you have been underground a third of a fortnight. <laughs> and the water is going, the water is going about... Cubits wide. <laughs> yeah, the water is going about 13 knots. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. How, you know, you, get, you could lose a stone or two there, Doc. I mean, <laughs> Medic monkey. Mush. Mush. <laughs> All right. Keep going forward and uh, you know, stay job. on target. All right. We separate you, on either side of the uh, entrance to the cavern. Okay. So the cavern, you you see that you are on a stone. You you are on a stone shelf that has a drop away. The only lights in the cavern are provided are those provided by your shoulder lamps. At least at this point, from what you can see, but you can hear a massive sound of water. I really can't stand the fact they have no like bioluminescent 
plants to light this place in some dramatic way. We're not on Pandora, man. The last bioluminescence was the uh, horrible... Oh, yes, the tree you know, Toxin spewing. Yeah, we're fine. Guys. We're fine. Yeah, that's, that's actually, that. it wasn't them. There was a crystal they were dripping on. Too. Yeah. Yeah, glowing crystal. See, there's yeah. a, it's in the picture. Glow, glowing crystal. In, in my uh, oh. in my understanding, nothing good ever happens in the presence of glowing crystals. <laughs> Ooh. So, as you step out onto the, uh, to the rock shelf, you look to the left and you see that the shelf narrows up and then there's a drop down. The drop continues straight in front of you. The shelf continues to your south. Um, it goes off in the distance, uh, with the drop-off being on your left at that point. If you wander up to the drop-off, you will see a massive underground river. Uh, mm-hmm. Leading up, uh, as your torch lights illuminate in the distance, you can see a huge, huge waterfall. All of the water that was not evidence on the surface of this planet is here underground. It is huge. Um, and it is definitely coming from it is it, the waterfall is definitely coming from the south, dropping straight down and then continuing this river uh, heading north. Okay, mm. the great river undo. Is there any like tracks or anything we notice that we could pick up on, like movement? Would you like to make an observation roll? Yeah, I would because Go this ahead. is just because he has the best observation. No, I don't. Two successes. You're in front. Holy <laughs> moly. Okay. See the best. <laughs> oh, thank you. With two thank successes, you, faith. you see, uh, you find a boot print uh, oh. in in a little bit of the moisture and um, oh, some of the slime that looks very familiar to all the wet areas inside near the uh, inside near the the uh, the crystal fountain. So you know that fungus that you encountered. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's some of it growing here too. Son of this a place bitch. needs to be washed out with Clorox. It just started oh. to probably attract it in here. All right. You look down over the edge. You see it's, it is almost a straight dark drop down. What you're on is, is kind of a lip. <laughs> so the, the boot print leads over to this spot where does it drop? The boot, the boot print leads south okay, where the I'll rock ledge the continues. Print. Okay. South we go. I hope. Is there anything to the north? What's the uh, north? The edge. It, it the sort edge of just, yeah, of. the edge. The edge of the shelf sort just sort of squeezes out to a rock wall. Okay, so we, we think we'll go, really only go south unless we want to jump into the river. Yes, we want to go into the abyss that, and ride that, the mighty great river Underwin. Yes, that from what you can tell <laughs> and how it's at least 150 meters down to the water. You'll just die in an impact. That's great. How, how many feet is that? Uh, that is how 12, many hectares? That is 12 <laughs> furlongs. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Two kilicam. <laughs> Two kilicams. <laughs> so you continue south. Uh, yes. S- slowly and cautiously, I'm imagining. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Stomping. Okay. Maybe. I mean, they can see our lights, so. It's true. You can. Uh, there is. Uh, as your lights play out over this rock shelf, you see it's wet. You do see. You see strands of this black fungus leading off the shelves. It seems this grows when, when in incredibly wet areas on this planet, or at least in this cavern. Uh, so that you, you suspect there might be some hanging off the ledge. Um, you can you can get much much closer. It, it, you know, like it gets so much louder as you get closer to the waterfall. It is dropping from. It, so it must be a huge height or some sort of so, something is making it move so fast. Um, you didn't think you were that far underground, but. Gravity. You are. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's called gravity. <laughs> it is a huge short. You do see that the shelf you're on, uh, it it widens out, and what looks like there might be a doorway. Or, or a cafe. Uh, oh, a doorway. Found the doorway. Uh, in the rock wall uh, to the Guys, southwest. Found a How, Starbucks. However, yes. As, you're li- as you turn, you notice a little bit further south, the rock shelf curves back in on itself right almost to the to being just inside the water the, the waterfall just outside of it and there's an altar Ooh. ah son of a cultist and altar are never good things what kind Wait. of wh- how big is this thing it is massive mm-hmm. it is a uh, altar it is it's an, it's an outcropping a rock uh, uh no, it's on an outcropping rock over the water over the waterfall the the altar is probably Three meters by three meters. It's roundish. Uh, it's been worn by stone and wa- by time and water, but you can 
get an idea of the original size and shape, and it is massive. To the altar we miss. Mason, stop outrunning your support. No, I'm just moving my character to the altar. This is apparently where That's outrunning your support. That okay. seems like a good idea. Guys, I found this unholy altar deep underground under a waterfall. No, I'm supposed to what could go wrong? Fight. He said we found it, so I'm moving our car- well, my well, character. Well, what I said is as your lights sweep over, oh, yeah. what you I see. You said we're on top of it. Let me back up. Okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to do a certain D&D character we know. <laughs> Perhaps we should investigate Time? this door. <laughs> well, well, there's it's, a door. It's, so, so, the, so the altar is open. There is a door. Uh, it's up to you which direction you wish to pursue. I just have a quick question, Mother. As our lights swept over the giant altar, did we see any familiar fluids like blood on it? Make an observation roll if you'd like to. Uh, or just. I'm going to terrify the crap out of myself. I'm going to piss my bed. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, observation. Uh, hey, guys, um, because I'm your leader, I'm going to make an observation roll. We try, you're trying to observe your leadership skill? All right, Halifax. One success. Someone has to. And let's see what the, let's see what let's see what uh, your your sergeant here makes uh, makes his roll. You can do it. Uh, da, 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 we believe in you. One Look success. At you. What do you do? As you two, as you two turn heads and for your cameras, I did. There's Holy a shit. <laughs> there, you, the light reflects off of something metal near the base of the altar. Did you say metal? Metal. I did. Right. We have this door here. We probably should check it before we go. Make sure nobody's hiding in it. Cobalt. Stuff like Sounds good. Go ahead and check that, Mason. This, so does the door and, make and an observation look? See if the door's been messed with or open recently. Or, or a trip. I'm going to give you this. Yeah. I'm going to give you this we'll one for it. free. It, okay. 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 Or you could just roll it with one success. Uh, you know, you can't tell. It's, okay. It's clean. Like it's all alien. The, like all, all right, the other uh, doors in this facility, it's it's. Is there that weird hole? Beside yeah. Is there, an, is there an obvious way to open it, yes. or is this, this weird mystical there is. bougie next, good next to it, orb yes. shit? The next bin. to it is the well, next to it is I'm, the orb that you have. I, grab, in, I pre- grab the boob and I squeeze it, and it begins to glow. Play with the ball, Mason. And the door slides open silently. Well, I'll step in with the shield Wait, of the light. That's the sound light I make if the door is quiet. <laughs> okay. So as you walk in, this is a path. It looks like a pathway or a giant hallway. The walls of this chamber are lined with what looks to be three meter tall statues of humanoids with ribbed bodies, bulbous heads, and a short trunk. They're withered. Uh, and uh, they, they, look, they appear to be uh, it's not like any of the carvings you've seen anywhere else these, these appear different the texture looks different kick on make, Mason make sure it's not actually you know going to attack us uh, they are All lined right. up on the, they're lined up on the walls there are 13 of these statues and there's um, 13 of us no right here. Why when you say bulbous fathers. heads, like what, what's bulbous? Is it like the, the frontal lobe, or <laughs> it's um, like Sandman, dome-like, uh, bul- large, pr- kind of like roundish, protruding eyes, a trunk that comes down. It looks like it may enter this, may like enter the statue, or just be resting mm. on top of it. Um, no, they got a face handle. That's cool, like a hose. Could be. You could. Oh, these are pachyderm. You people. could. Or you could observe. <laughs> are you going to go and examine closer? Yes. Grab, I'll go, grab I'll one, go, Mason. I'll go frighten and observe. Well, I, I have the shield in my gun. I'm not grabbing. He's uh, not going to grab anything. Halifax. What do I discern through my powers of observation? Oh wow, Jeez. Halifax, you get sight closer. Sight beyond sight. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you get close and you, you realize that 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 isn't this metal stone hybrid that's something else you you reach out and you touch it Dude. oh mason to touch why did you touch it mason is not touching it halifax or, is H- halifax all right yeah yeah you, you touch it and it feels like the shed skin of an old corpse because i touch those often apparently leathery <laughs> and kind of i'm not gonna king shame leathery make a dry but it. solid Ooh. it's it's not flaking away it's just it's a it's a texture almost 
it, it's comparable to maybe something you know, but you can't put your finger on it. I would say it feels like a bioorganic husk that has been shed. It is desiccated probably from time. Time beyond our knowing. For these are the skins of the Sky Fathers. Hey, hey Dick? You got your portable you, crematorium with you? With, with three successes, you also realize that it's not a statue. This is I, not a statue. Uh, I think these are mummified weirdos. <laughs> these are just mummified, I'm hoping. I'm saying that because that makes me sound, that feels so much better than they're alive and sleeping. Oh, you don't I think said. they shed their skins, <laughs> right? That would Dick. be sad. So, okay, I said, I don't think they're statues. I think they may be mummified remains inside these things. At least I'm hoping they're mummified because they look pretty, well, gross and they're tall. They're very tall. They're like 17 hands high. Okay. How many stones uh, do they this weigh? Is where this, this, is where this, this is where I say light them up. Yeah, Fire they, on these fucking no, 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 things no, no, immediately. No, 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 sir. Yes! We cannot waste ammo on inanimate objects. Should there we take a, a sample? I, I look over, it's like, we can take Just a so sample, burnt. and I look over at, 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 at Dick Chopper and goes, we can always burn them if necessary. <laughs> you burn. Oh, That's what I'm okay, saying. Burn. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay, burn is good. Let's burn them. Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's take Before samples we first. Burn anything. Let me let me take let me examine them Hit and it, take Trump some door. samples, like you said. Oh, and no. that's how. Trump and that's <laughs> how we lost Doc. Dick Doc, Chopper. Go ahead, yep. make me a medical aid roll. Take a chemical okay. sample. Something that'll be useful for us. Okay. See what you can do for them, Doctor. <laughs> oh Jesus! I, I like to push this roll. Zero, I got zero no. successes. Yes, you I'd may. Like to... You may push the roll. Right. Oh. Zero successes on thirty-six dice. I know. And now you made <laughs> with your yes. push, with your push. You made three successes. Uh, yes. <sighs> okay. So you go up and you're looking for a place uh, to take a sample. What might be accurate? You go up and you touch the head, and you try to move <laughs> the <laughs> trunk keep touching it. out of the way, and you realize <laughs> that. That just comes off, and it comes off in your hand. So the whole head and trunk assembly comes off. Oh, and wow. Just, it, it almost drops to the ground when you catch it. And it's... Why is that your reflex? A, there's just a black void inside. Oh. So it's nothing. So it's, it's hollow. hollow. Yeah. So there's no, like, like my wisp of smoke yeah. that disappears into his nostrils. There's a... <laughs> I mean... Are you going to go smell it? No. No, I'm lucky. I'm watching Doc. <laughs> that's yes, not, that's, that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. That, Doc, Doc is not going to do that. Doc is not going to stick Doc his is, head in, into the Doc cavernous is, hole of its neck. He's not going to smell that. Um, Does anybody ever rolled up 20? But I will. You know what the street um, value of these mummies is? Take Doc is my stuff. buddy. He's not sniffing anything. <laughs> uh, how are you going to? Were you going to take the helmet? Is that what you're telling me? Well, you said its head fell off. No, well, no. The helmet came off. There was nothing in there. Just do yeah, like a little yeah. cotton swab so, and be done with it. So with three with three successes on observation, three successes on a medical aid, I'm going to let you guys guess that these are... Suits. Suits? Yeah. Shells? Mm. Skin? But right. they're husks. They're but not empty. sure, right? It's not a helmet like we have. It, this is something that's them. It's all the same Doc, material. I think it might be a... Bio if you look inside, it's empty. A, I think it might be a bioplastic sort of like but no, vac like, suit of some sort. No, no, ske no skeleton or anything like there's that. Nothing right? inside, there's nothing inside the head the head unit. You didn't look inside the body unit, but you more than welcome to. So it is, the, it is possible that um, they have some, whatever had this was organic technology, some sort of protective suit, but not made like our stuff. It, it's, it's, so I'm going to take a sample of it and put it in my little containers or whatever for yeah. later study you're gonna try to cut it yeah oh, well it fell apart so i figured i'd just snap a piece no, no. off no, no the helmet came off. Oh, 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 oh yeah i'll try to i'll try to flake some flake some off all right go ahead and give me a heavy machinery roll a heavy machinery <laughs> roll okay that's gonna yeah. really go well so i think it's a boom it's <laughs> oh, oh, okay. two successes shit. so uh, after you after, after you snap the first scalpel uh just snaps Wow! Uh, as you try to push in, you you're trying to cut it. The 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 actual it actually snaps under the pr the amount of pressure that you're putting into it. You find a way to use your combat knife uh, to to puncture a hole. You manage to get the smallest smallest piece. It's it's maybe the size of a fingernail. That's plenty, sir. Hmm. And it takes you ten minutes to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. This, Again um, about my honeymoon. Yeah. So, this is a tough. This is a tough uh, suit. 
this is a, this material definitely worth studying, but it is super hard. I'm almost given the fact that we're chasing cultists and, and everything, but if we do come back this way, I, I would be interested to see what kind of damage it could take from our weapons. You, you also realize while you're doing this that they're not attached to the ground, that they can be moved. Like the, how, you, how you heavy move, is it? Do you try to lift it? I'll try to push it over. Okay. You try to push it over. You realize that it would, you maybe two or three Marines could carry one of it. It's very heavy. Uh, I'm going to take a look down the, uh, shine a light down the neck hole while he's cutting it up. It's, up. it's this is empty. a bioorganic plastic yeah. that apparently, <sighs> apparently is sustained by a living yeah. device inside it's, of it. Do we, we have time to play with these fucking suits when we're supposed to go? Yeah, it's people? probably just a minor it's, 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 we're fine. It's, em- it's empty inside. There might, there looks like there's like circles, lines, and dots all over the inside of inside of the suit and it's clean inside like there's no dust there's nothing. I've seen this horror movie one of them is occupied and is going to murder us I turn back to her and go you're completely right we should probably <laughs> just mark them with paint <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I mean this could this is fascinating but I think our mission takes precedence yeah, we need to go. If, if we there is yeah. a door down at the end of the hallway but we're going to go back to the altar Fuck. Or, or Mason on the way out there is another Mason, door. There door. is another door at the end of the hallway. It's the only way to know what you're certain. It wasn't. I'll go with. It you. wasn't obvious at first. You had to go inside and see it um, as you're examining the suits. All right, I go squeeze the titty. On the on Back. the way on the hallway down, I just keep, I just keep knocking on the uh, the suits just to make make sure they're all oh, hollow sounding. Nothing okay. knocks back. <laughs> One, yeah, Mac. Two, <laughs> three. Keep both hands on your gun and point it down I'm this way. Using the butt of the rifle to okay, <laughs> yeah, like smart butt of, gun. But, you're like, <laughs> butt of, yeah, butt of the rifle is attached to the smart harness. You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, it's on your gyro harness. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you're doing the best you can by poking it with yeah. the barrel. Yeah, um, there we go. You no, you get no reaction. Okay, um, you're not really, you, you really can't tell if if there's anything in them because you can't exert that much force by yourself with the barrel of your weapon. These things, but they're not to, reacting. They're not reacting. No. Okay. So I feel better about that. Okay. All right. So you all pile up at the end of the chamber. I unfortunately will tell her, you know, they usually wait until we're on a vulnerable spot, like the end of a quarter with a locked door. Then we, Oh shit. It's not it's great. I'm not <laughs> Cheryl and Charlie. We're fine. As you turn around to talk to each other, you see the doctor has gone over to one of the suits and is looking inside, has got her arm inside that, inside what the cavern. What the fuck? Pre- just press her rib lightly. Just go, yeah, he's just, Doc, are you Bitch, okay? you're another <laughs> broken rib. <laughs> just gently brush it. That's enough to make someone cringe. Uh, of course, of course. This is the find of a lifetime. Do you not understand? Do you want yes. another broken rib? You I didn't go, say yeah. not, to, not to touch them. I'm Doctor? doing my job, what I was hired for. Doctor, continue yes. your observations. Try and be as less, uh, a little less uh, intrusive. Tactile. He, he stuck in your, his head in there first. He's expendable. She's got I a know, point. That's why I whoa, let him do whoa. that. Do <laughs> you think I would touch any of these by myself? <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, you would touch him, bitch. You would touch him. Come on, let's go. I move into the okay, room. So, Basin, you're going in the opening with the shield? Yeah. Okay, so I'm. I'll be right above you with the uh, with the smart rifle above your head. Where are you? Hey. Really above his head? Above? Well, you know, I tried through and I got yelled at. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's maintain protocol. Okay. Does he know? It? I don't think he. I don't think that means what you think it means. Okay. <laughs> this stone room is dominated by six standing stone covered. I swear to God, pods? if you say sarcophagi, I swear to God too. We're, like, we're done. <laughs> Stone covered pods. You could call them sarcophagi. Son of nope, nope, Shut nope. up. Six standing stone covered sarcophagi line the walls. <laughs> three, three on either side. Each stone sarcophagi has hieroglyphics of some sort carved on the lid. However, what really gets your attention right away is that there are two cultists standing 
right in front of the first two of these stone uh I think jacking off having. in front of the thing that that'd be really awkward. Um so what I need is I need for Mason uh, and gonna, who's okay. who's behind Mason? Uh Jack behind is behind Mason, Mason and I'm behind Jack. So you both need to make mobility rolls plus 2 because they are not turned in your direction. Their attention is completely on something else. Mm. So please give me those. Uh, first two, please give me those mobility rolls. I'm gonna I'm gonna push that. All right. Oh, Jenna, son of a bitch. Jenna, no successes. Push no successes. Okay. You didn't, but uh Mason, Ooh. three successes, but you got a face hugger. Ninja. So roll stress roll stress for me, please. However, uh, Storm did pretty keep well. It together. Stress ninja. You keep it together. Okay. No, you're I, not in the room. I have to, I have to make some room. <laughs> Mason, you hold it together with your stress. You open the door. You and Jenna, pretty quiet, you think. The two cultists were there. Uh, they, they're they looking at something. They're looking at something totally away from you. But then a boot scrapes behind you. You don't know who did it. But one of the cultists, one of the cultists turns his head and sees you. So you're clocked. There's no, there's no surprise. God, well, we light the motherfuckers up. Well, we have to go to combat now. All right. Kill Halifax. them all. Move and fire through. Can I do that? You or change, change your initiative, initiative with... with uh... I will exchange my initiative with Mason, who I want to kill yeah. everyone in the room. <laughs> you can. Uh, you can. Yes, we can do that. That is my wish. Uh, Mason, you have... You were at nine. You were at nine. And I recommend Dick Chopper change initiatives with me. Sure, why not? All right. Uh, but that's when Mason's uh, turn. Yeah. What's well, right. his turn? So, Mason, you get you get an action. Give them Christmas. I pull out my stun baton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shoot, obviously. All right. Uh, what the no, fuck? no successes. And you pushed it with no successes. And here it <laughs> comes. Wow. All right. Okay. I'm going to move. I have to Ninja. move so they can shoot. No, you don't. I, can I? Can the only person can shoot? No, yeah, yeah, you can, can move. Shoot. No, you're. Yeah, you're down. Yeah, you're. You're crouched. I'm above. Okay, I'll let you shoot, and I'll keep crouched. Well, the, yeah. the, they go next. So yeah. yeah. God damn! Right. I can't believe that shit. No, I can. I can. Let me change it. How many sarcophagi was that again? Six sarcophagi that you can see. Sarcophagi. There's uh, there, there's more to the chamber that you can't see, but. Just as a reminder, Anders has a pistol that I gave him. Okay. Um, all right. So, is he here? Mm-hmm. Anders is. Yeah, Anders is in the back. Yeah. Good. We'll need it for the altar. Hmm? <laughs> what? He is the virgin, after all. So, Mason, you have your shield up. What does that give you an armor of? I have a shield. Total, shield. Total <clears throat> armor of eleven. Okay. Good roll. Night. Roll your armor. Now this is just for the shield. Oh, the shield's five. Okay, five. right, because you're not counting your body first. He's got to go through the shield to get to your body. All right, um, rounds from this uh, this F nine F nine o three assault rifle ping off, uh, ping into your uh, ping into your shield. They block the damage. Mm-hmm. And Dick Chopper, you're up next. I'm gonna swap with uh, Jenna. Okay. Let's change your uh, Jenna. You're at eight, right? Or were at uh, yes. Yeah. One of many. Well, at least my roll good for my shield. Yeah, three successes on a shield really helps you. All right, Jenna. Okay, I'm going to attack uh, the one right in front. Okay. Uh, you want to ping it for me? Oh, sorry. Uh, that one. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and make a roll. All right. One success. How much damage your smart gun do? Three. All right, you definitely do some serious damage. The rounds go through the mostly ceremonial body armor that they're wearing, um, but it's still up. They do have some great epaulets on this thing, though. They do. It's so good. And the it's keeping them up. Uh, okay. Um, it's your um, fearless leader, Sergeant Storm. Oh, you mean Sergeant Storm? I was like, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he pulls both grenades, put them, puts them in his mouth, and runs towards the enemy. I will show you. Um, What's David no, blocking um, the door? <laughs> yeah, I follow their leader and I fire towards. Uh, okay. The bad guy. You will be the last one to crowd the entrance to get into the entrance to be able to fire without somebody else <laughs> without it, somebody else stepping stepping back. <laughs> Um, there's there's place for two people behind Mason and his sh and and his shield. So Jenna's one of the people behind Sergeant Storm. You could be the next one. I'm just letting you know. I announce everybody to pull back so I can lay down grenades to cover our our um, re retreat. Retreat. Okay, that comes over the comp. Are you going to take any action other than make that uh, make that statement? Stay in the middle of the hallway so everybody gets past me. Okay. Nothing else? You gonna go on Overwatch? Is that... No, because uh, only only pussies do that. All right. Doc. All right. So hearing that uh, we are retreating, I will retreat. Yeah, I will hear. Um, I will help us uh, survive. Was uh, Wasabi a little bit south and around the corner here? So, okay, you go back out. Uh, uh, mother, I'm holding my pulse rifle at ready. Because by I, the way, while while I'm announcing that, all right, all right. So I'm gonna so, I'm gonna help uh, Wasabi around this corner. So you go back out to the waterfall I see, cavern. Well, yeah, because he's got. Oh wait a minute, I'm all the way out here. Yeah, we're gonna fall back. Okay. Because I saw him had someone had a grenade or something like that. Somebody right. does. I fall back and that's what the sergeant wants to do is to shoot grenades. Okay, so I'll fall back and I will <laughs> orient myself uh, south um, east. Okay, because we haven't explored where that ends, right? No, you have not. Okay, that's my turn. All right. Uh, well, the other uh, cultist is going to take a shot. Mason, they got three successes on their attack roll, which means that they can do some other things with their successes. Go ahead and roll your armor. They did. They were going to do three. They Whoa. were going to do three, going, three dice of damage. Three successes. They block, block that with three successes, but with their last Fucking success, Mason. they force you to drop the item. So mm. I drop my shield. Yes, they shoot the shield out of your hand. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Clang, 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 clang. That Mason, is. if you drop the shield, you can get pregnant then. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Just, just the on, just the onslaught of of semi-automatic rifle man. fire just ma it makes the shield uh, come off come off the straps on your arm. Uh, hey, it, blocks, it, it blocks all the slugs. You take no damage. Doesn't even reach your body armor, but it it's knocked away. Is it? Dick Chopper. So I don't really have a shot around the. Well, you could have a shot if you go up to where you, you see that there is space for one more person to fire over uh, over Mason. Yeah, from that angle, you probably have a shot at one of them. Where you're at now, you don't have a shot. Uh, they deliver that. You know, I will. Uh, I will take. You a could run go to the other side and use that flamethrower. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I will use the uh, the flamethrower over Mason's shoulder. All right, so you're going to move up to where Mason, where Mason is, yeah. use a flamethrower over the shoulder. Yeah. Mason, you're there on the ground. The, the gunfire is knocked the shield. And all of a sudden, the cavern just lights up, and there's an intense heat over your shoulder. All right. Well, that's uh, interesting. Go ahead and make your uh, make your combat roll. Two successes. Two successes. Yeah, all right. Should I push it? You could. You have no. You have no face hookers. You have the ability to push this roll if you wish. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna try to um, uh, uh, hit the uh, the second person. Can I do that with the the extra success? You could absolutely. Um, oh, is that only with the um, automatic fire? Automatic, or fully yeah. auto. Oh yeah. All right. All right. No. I'll, no. I'll just uh, do. It. Hold on. Hold on. One second. I will. I will. I will consult the. I'll consult the rules here. Um, you what does the oracle one. say? Absolutely. Rules music. You could do things like you could push the, you could push the you could push the opponent to the ground or make them push back. You could make them drop a weapon or a handheld object. Uh, you could switch initiative with them, or you can pin, you can pin them down, make an make them make an immediate panic roll. Yeah, or you can make, do or make or them, you can do just, or you can just do extra damage. I'm gonna make them make a panic roll. It's only one because you're not you don't have a fully auto weapon. 
Yeah, yeah. No, no uh, him. Yeah, so yeah. It's one but guy. The, yeah, the, yeah. So I'll, I'll make the one make a panic roll. You can Which have one? drop his gun. The the one in the front. Okay. Um, they they seem to be together. Is the one? Is it the one that has the bullet holes in him and is bleeding profusely, or the other one? Uh, other one. Okay. Uh, would you explain what the incinerator unit does for the players at home? Yeah. So uh, it is is got this tank on it, and it's got a little little tiny little tiny flame and sticking out the front. And I, I squeeze a little little trigger thingy, and it shoots this jet of of fuel that goes to the little tiny flame and becomes a really big long flame that that spreads across uh, across the whole room in the stream of like flaming like. Death burn. And, and it engulfs the guy, and and uh, he's probably a little frightened. All right, so you do two damage, All right? Uh, right, because I just, it, the damage on the incinerator is two. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and I think it should yes it should be on fire now, right? Uh, I believe they do get a, a burn effect. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and look that up in the uh, you, look. You, that should be on the description of your weapon. Yeah. Um, so I've assigned a, fl- a flaming uh, icon to the person. Um, they are, yeah, they're 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 yeah. they're going to make a panic roll. Fire intensity nine. Ooh. That's that. I think that's nine dice. Yeah. So it does two damage, and then the next round they they start the not the fire intensity nine. Uh, yeah, I'm not or sure it, if it's or on. Or is it this turn? I think it's immediate. I think Ooh, as I recall, it feels like you it should be because they are on fire. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll I remember away. when I had one in my old well, the character. Had died if I had the stuff. book still, I'd yeah, probably roll, look it roll, up. Roll, the- roll the, uh, roll the, roll the. Go ahead and roll nine dice, right. just in case. I have the book, and I will just look it up. I also have this whole massive unit here. It's a here uh, weapons. Ooh, that's braggart. So whenever it takes Holy effect, shit. this is four damage. Okay. So what I'm going to say it happens is, uh, either way, it doesn't matter, is that this jet of jellied gasoline fuel just engulfs this guy from head to toe. They start screaming, no oxygen available because the air has been pulled out of their lungs. You can just see them waving, uh, waving their arms as their face, eyeballs melt. Uh, and they crumble to the ground in a burning, burning de- uh, death heap. Um, you know what? Uh, the other guy should roll panic. Yeah, I, I, I think he's gonna roll panic. I think that that's 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 a thing that's gonna happen. Um, he is losing him, a friend. I'm gonna give him some stress. He didn't have a lot of stress to begin with, and he keeps it together. Uh, <laughs> so where do you roll that time? You just kept it together. That's all you really had no stress of one. <laughs> Steely Resolve. Halifax. Uh, I, I like to think it's called the Reinecker Maneuver. No. <laughs> Halifax. Okay. I am going to assume that they have... The three of them pretty much have that in somewhat in control. I can't offer any more firepower through the doorway. I guess I'm going to go to Overwatch. Okay. That's a possibility I can do. Right. We'll begin Sergeant the... Sergeant says that's So, a Mason, <laughs> uh, we are at the top of the next Sergeant round. Sergeant listens to his dad. Okay, so we have a... Uh, a uh, okay, you know what? You know what? Just, just, just... Mason, Cho- uh, Chopper, and Jenna, they can give me a free observation roll if they want. You don't have to. You may not want to see what you're going one, to see. Okay, Mason, one one success. <sighs> Je- Jenna, I need you to make a panic roll. All right, you keep it together. Uh, Chapowski, two successes. Mm. You hear some screaming or yelling that is not coming from the two people in front of you. Oh. Is it coming from you have that no direction? That's all, that, with two successes, that's all you get. Okay. All right, Mason, top of the round. Okay, so I got a guy in front of me. Two, for, there, you, yes. you, didn't, you didn't roll for me on the... Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't order. put you in the combat. Yeah, because yeah. he took you outside. I apologize. Okay, it, fair we, enough. You know, let me let me go ahead and add you. I didn't add you to the combat. That's that's my fault. I will. Um, I'll add you in. Who's within arm's reach of me? Uh, Doc, I can imagine. Just Doc. Well, uh, there's also you know. Um, where's your icon? 
It's a Jenna as well. I'm right in the middle. I'm right here. Oh, you! I, I have an icon on top of you. That's why. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that'll do it. <laughs> I'm Ooh. there. There you go. Uh, I want. I just. I wanted stated for the record that I was so quiet he didn't even know I was here. Okay, you were. You were in. You're at three. So you you get you can do an action at the end of the round. Lightning. Okay. So I'm gonna take one of the drugs. Oh, one of the extra. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Drugs. Um. All right. Or. Yeah. And if there's anybody within arm's reach of me, they're gonna mm-hmm. get the second dose. What? Uh, that would be Doc, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be me. Just yeah. Saying. So Waspy. You like Doc, you're you're helping Waspy. You you turn your head and you see what stick something in. I'm gonna try to do it stealthily. Oh, okay. Go, you know what? Then go ahead. Get, go, go ahead. You can make a roll. Can yeah. What roll. is that? Mobility? What is observation? What? That'd be mobility, I think. Or wits. Well, he he wrote you roll mobility, and Doc would have to roll observation. Yeah. Go ahead. And, yeah. You you do. I'll you roll do my observation. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, observation. Uh, you got one success. Doc. I did. Hold right. on, I'm looking for observation. Yeah, Doc. Okay, so you see, yeah. um, Waspy's he, limit. He's, he's, you know, you think he, he's maybe clutching his side, and you see him inject something. He's uh, trying to sneak me a needle. No, no, in, in himself. Oh, okay. First, uh, and then another needle comes out towards you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a step back and be like, "I'm good, thank you." I'll right. administer the medicines. <laughs> what are you taking anyway? Vitamins. <laughs> Just something I found. Come here, Doc. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I should take a look at what you found before you start. Well, it's too late yeah, now. Too Tell right. me if you feel heart palpitations. Mm, uh, if your leg begins to move uh, restlessly, <laughs> or uh, I'm you know. just hoping to feel something, Doc. Sudden <laughs> urge to gamble, Was- right? Was- Irritable Was- bell syndrome. <laughs> what, what, so you 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 don't feel any direction pain. lasting over four hours. You get plus one plus one strength, uh-huh. plus plus one agility, plus okay. one plus one wits. Okay. Wow. Is there a way that I can actually so plus one wits? So I actually change the stat for now, uh, or it's temporary. But yeah, you can you can do that, or you can just right. add one to the any of those rolls plus that require one. that. Plus one strength, plus one agility. So it doesn't actually make you smarter. What it does is it 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 heightens your senses. Like you can feel you can feel your uh, your 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 eye sure. your, your, uh, your eyeballs contracting, and just like yeah. everything gets sharper. You get better dark vision. Um, my spidey senses are tingling. These are combat drugs, man. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. All right. Raging so combat boner. That, that was the uh, <laughs> oh massive. Um, That's your your, le- your foot doesn't feel that bad anymore. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping for a little relief from that. Uh, you know what? You also get one temporary hit point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there Mason. Top of the round. All right, shoot him. Go ahead, make a roll. <laughs> Two successes. Good. Thank God. Damage two. All right. Booba! And you finish just, just, you just load the, just drop him right in the chest. Just, booba! you know, burst right there, drops, drops him to the ground. Um, the children. Fall, he fall, uh, they fall at your feet. All right. I'm going to grab my shield real quickly and get it back up. Okay. Um, at the second, I'm going to say we're out of combat. Nice. Noise. Just at the second, we're out of combat. Where did you hear from? the noise still? Why, why, why do you say it like that? At the second. Yeah. Do we hear, still hear the screaming? Uh, there, no, you never heard the screaming because all the air was pulled out of, uh, pulled out of his lungs. No, by no, the fire. you said we heard other people screaming. I heard one of you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some yeah. Voices. Oh. yeah. So, hey, nobody, did you guys hear that scream? Okay. Nobody outside in the main cavern can hear anything because of the Is sound it? of the waterfall. Waterfall. Don't it's, go you know, chase him. You can see stuff on your HUD. You can look through your, look through everybody's cameras, but you, it's so loud outside. There's conversation. It's impossible. I'll text them. Okay. But you know combat is over. You see the last combatant drop. Let's move in, check them out, and check the next door. You know, the, yeah, uh, there's, there's got to be... I thought, I thought I heard another scream, so there's got to be somebody else around here. So keep, Kids have gotta be keep your eyes somewhere. open. Okay. You look down the hall um, as, a, as Mason grabs a shield. Jenna, you make the first... Uh, you can see there are two figures... 
uh, past these, let's call them sarcophagi. Why not? Uh, that you can see. Contact oh. straight ahead. Hold on. What's going on? Okay. There we go. Let me read the rest, the description of the rest of the chamber for you. Doom. Next to you, two of these sarcophagi um, are open. They have been open. Uh, these dumb motherfuckers. They're Fucking the, the, the covers, <laughs> which you think is this metal stone organic material hybrid. Uh, it looks like they've been broken open. Mm. Uh, the closest one to you is empty. Uh, inside the other one, as you look inside, is a towering corpse. This thing is maybe, and I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to go back to feet here. It's about nine foot high. Uh, it's humanoid. Two fathoms. About six stone. So <laughs> this 15 hand high creature, is it big enough to fit in those suits? 27 farthings. It's possible. Sure, it's, right? it's possible. Okay. That's a problem. It had some sort of covering on it and something on its face, but it's decayed, broken, withered. It's so hard to tell, especially with what else is going on in the room. There are four more sarcophagi. Uh, and these, uh, these have intact lids. Um, three of the lids are closed and they're dark. And in the silence following the crackling of the fire and the gunshots, you hear. Thump, thump, thump. What the fuck is that? You hear a heartbeat from each one of these. Oh, fuck. It's oh, I so, fire everything. It's so Wait. loud that it's coming through the containers. Doc. Uh, 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 wait. I'm out in the hall, yeah, but yeah. Wait. You got okay, I'll send him a text. <laughs> From the last sarcophagi on the far end, light is emitting from it, and two figures stand outside. A woman with short blonde hair, looks like she's in ceremonial robes, and another man, um, wearing a, a, a backpack with wires coming out of it, coming to a oh, visor sorry. that goes over goes over his eyes and wires leading down to the sarcophagi. Mother Mishka and Rudy. What the fuck? The sarcophagi has been cracked open and the wires lead inside. What do you do? Do you know how the smart gun has the uh, the little trigger that when you hold it down, it just goes? Yeah. That I'm going to give a chance for the people who are outside in, in the in the chamber to do some uh, to do something. Well, we hear that there's something going on. No, that they made you you see that something's going on. I I thought someone had con. Oh. Even with our okay, so yeah, we yeah. can't. You guys can't hear us yeah, over the water, but you can see. I'll, over oh, I'm head. not talking to you. You can see in the I'm HUD. shooting. Max not talking to anybody. You can see in the HUD <laughs> that the bot they dropped two firstborn children. Um, you can see that they've gone further in this room. You can see that there's two people at the end. You can see the sarcophagi. You can see the person with the visor. So you can see all of that is happening. Okay. Well, I'd like to move into the room with all the suits. Okay. Um, I think Doc would take a position against one of the southwest um, walls so that he could could lean around and shoot if something happened. Okay, move your token wherever you want to. Now that I'm not burdened by old Gimpalot. Mush. Are you just leaving him? <laughs> no, he can. He seems to be able to walk all of a sudden. I didn't, take, I didn't say he could walk. I could just say he couldn't feel his foot. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Well, right, I'll fine, sort of. I'll say, <laughs> so I'm feeling great, Doc. Thump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lean against this crazy statue. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Hold hold one of those statues and actually you can use it for cover. Okay. So what happened? Yeah. Too so, anybody else in the anybody else outside or in the chamber or in the in the, well, in the hall of statues want to do anything at this moment in time? Max at the door. She's gonna fire speak with a okay, she just moved. Dick yeah, Sharp, you want to move so, next to uh, uh, mother, who who is next is uh, sergeant? So just to answer your question before you move on, Tyr. Yes. Um, 
Sorry, Game Mother. I'm yes. I'm watching Aft. I'm watching R6. Okay, great. For anybody okay. coming up. Koopa, what was your question? Who's next to Storm? Where where am I? I'm Storm, trying to get closer. Storm, you were in the you were in the middle of the room with the with the suits. And and who and what am I seeing? Because I'm trying to move, but I can't. So okay. the suits look like oh, let me see. Look like like that? Is that good? Yes, Ooh, they cool. look somewhat like that. And they're about that tall? Yes, they're about that tall. Yeah. So yeah. Hang out this there, is right? this is when Storm <laughs> makes a command roll and says burn them. No one's in there with you, but it's nice that you have a good idea. Okay, go ahead and make your command roll. <laughs> <laughs> no successes. You can push the roll if you wish. Sir, they are indestructible to any technology that we currently possess. So much colonial marines. That is not shipborne base. All right. <laughs> so the only person who has the ability to burn anything is Chopper. Chopper, on your next on your next action, you must burn the things that the burn them. Yeah, you must burn <laughs> the, the things that the sergeant has commanded you to do using his special okay. using his special ability. It's not just command. He has a, he has a talent that yeah. allows allows him to do this. Yeah. Yep, but that's, Just, on, that's on your, gumption. That's on your next. That's on your next <laughs> yeah. action. That's my gumption roll. All right. As everybody outside the chamber had feel like they've had equal time to do something, say something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, I, I did want to write a poem, but yeah. Jenna, you start. <laughs> you start bringing the smart gun over. Mason, you're breaking the shield back up. Um, a, a chopper, you're getting the you're getting the incinerator you're getting the incinerator ready. Now you have some distance to cover. The incinerator has got to get closer if you're going to burn the people there. But what happens is Misha goes, "No, it's not ready." And you see this guy grab something, and power sparks shoot off the back of shoot off the back of this backpack that he's wearing. Light comes out from from behind this visor that he has on his eyes and he begins to scream an unholy death bound scream just like every nerve in his body is being set on fire screaming and beginning to lose his mind Mishka who we assume is Mishka slaps the visor off of his head does she look in the visor um, no, it, it, it clatters. It clatters on the ground behind him, and he goes. Let's see. I'm gonna make a roll. His head turns all the way uh, around. His because of the slap oh. sees you in the chamber and starts running towards you, screaming. Um, you got a free observation roll for anybody who wants it. Sure, I'll do it because I'm. I'm uh, waiting. Uh, I would like to substitute my trigger roll to... for observation. Uh, <laughs> Mason, one success. Halifax, one success. He's insane, and he's running towards us. Okay. Uh, Sergeant Storm, two successes. Blood is coming out of his eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. Like one, marriage. One eye, one pupil is extended as uh, to to uh, to maximum. One is dilated. One is dilated to uh, to the maximum extent possible, um, and foaming us. as he runs towards you for uh, uh, runs towards you. No, oh, yeah. Third, like I said, I'm holding down the trigger here. <laughs> okay, I am. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just gonna. So the smart gun is gonna open up. Thank the you, uh, Mason. Fuck yeah! Gonna, I'm not waiting. I'm shooting. You're 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 gonna fire. <laughs> chopper, what are you gonna do? Uh, burn chopper, them. you don't have a choice. You've got to burn. I'm not. We're not gonna bother with rolls here, guys. You all. Unload your weapons into this unarmed. I am not going to do that. I'm going to say, no, please, no, 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 no. keep her alive. In that same tone, yeah. and love <laughs> to this, uh, to this unarmed, uh, crazed madman. Hey, that backpack could be an ID. Uh, runs, runs toward you, and the bullets nearly tear into pieces. The, what the bullets don't finish, the fire does. Just. Just a tor- just a torch takes three more steps before it falls to the ground, melting. Yeah, um, mm, bacon. And, Dagger uh, counter out. And the woman in the chamber just reels back in horror at what what has happened. Where are the children? 
Don't you now have 14 seconds to comply. Now, we must I lie, the children. Lie. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> now, yep. the cryopods with the three heartbeats. Oh, God, no. Lights from inside spring forth. But they're not what you would think. They're flames. Light tr trickling on the inside. There's thumping from the inside on the, uh, you assume the lids. Thump, thump, thump. And the last, uh, including the last one, but the last one's open. What's the, is it? the last one's open, and you see the flames shoot out, Stop asking and you questions, see the Mason. lid thrown from the hinges across the room, shatters on the far wall. Hundreds of pounds, at least. A, a giant being, nine, ten foot tall, possibly, covered in flames from head to toe. Like gets up to its feet, runs, Jacques knocks, knocks the woman straight into the wall. That's splat. Um, she bounces, she, she bounces and rolls. Dead. Bursts forth from a door uh, that you did not see at the end of the chamber. We do now because it's illuminated by his flaming body. Yes, you see that there was another door at the end of did the Did he chamber. grab his squishy ball or did it just open for him? Actually, um, you know what? Uh, it, it, it just opened for him. He doesn't need to grab balls. Uh, when I say it just opened for him, he battered his way through it. Just huge, two oh, tight and black fit. Smashes the door down. This thing is made of some like metal stone. Sorry. This creature must possess incredible strength. Shoot him. Um, I think that may not function as go, well. Go as ahead, uh, go ahead, Mason. If you like, you're more than He's, welcome to to, to to try to make a to make, make a shot. I, go ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this shoot, but you know. Go ahead, make it make a range combat. Uh, oh yeah, bullets ripping. Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. I would, you I'll can see. feel the intensity of the heat of the fire back at the end of the chamber. Mm. But we think of this as more like a crucible incinerator or something. Where we destroy materials in that kind of heat we're eating from here. Um, other question is there another door besides the one he just bashed through? No, just the one you came in. Oh, god, yeah, it's running away are... from us, right? Uh, it's running today. elsewhere, it's running elsewhere. I wouldn't say away from us, yeah. I think well, we're no it, concern. It appears, it appears to be. It's a, I'm it's just concerned run, about where it, the kids are. It is not running in your direction. Hooray for now. <laughs> now, for now, are there two other attention again? That's why I shot it. Well, are there what? I'm sorry. Go you on. said there's two other sarcophagi that have three, something th pounding in them. Three other sarcophagi where you heard the heartbeats and you see now the flames illuminating in from the inside and, and through what was probably an observation window. They can't get out. Can I can I move forward yeah. to examine? So I'm assuming this is some sort of cryo chamber. I'm wondering if I could examine it to see if I can sh find any kind of controls to shut it down or like put them back to sleep or. Uh, you can make a heavy machinery minus three. Is the controller oh, grenade? That's not going to go well. Yeah, say because wanna... isn't your heavy machinery? It's <laughs> garbage. Uh, let's see how do I. <laughs> that's that's so got right so do on you it. have a lot of experience putting people that are on fire to sleep? So giant. <laughs> so I am trying to right click on this, and skill? I am not getting. Okay. The, You're right clicking me, on. Hold on. Heavy machinery? There it is. It was hidden. It, it hides. Beneath the surface, there lies the answer. <laughs> Minus three. This is going to be wonderful. You can do it, Doc. I, hopefully not. I don't want you to open something. I want you to say zero. Did it? Hold on. There's What's like heavy eight machinery of those skill? things. Um, zero. So, uh, what's your strength? Uh, Three. So the answer is no, you cannot make the roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll let you make a roll a 1d6 roll just for fun. So this okay, so this, this wouldn't be medical though, to try to recognize it as a, okay. All right. Doc? Be Comtech, maybe. Um, how do I so how do I roll? I'm a just roll, one, and I'm just like, roll one d6. Click on the d6 button. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you yeah. have no idea how to open this thing. Okay. Make um, Doc. Look. Yeah. If they're in cryo freeze and suddenly they're burning, that means they weren't sa they weren't kept frozen to save their lives. Let's move on and get that one that ran away. So this thing was making big, big strides. So if you if you want to catch up to it, you have to run. 
I'm what about the girl? What about the girl? Yes, secure the woman. She's knocked out. Is she puddled? <laughs> grab her. Somebody's, well, all right. Yeah, yeah. So one of you is going to grab her. Who's going to grab yeah. her? One of you two grab her. I'm not grabbing um, her. I got the shoes. Mason and I. Yeah, okay. Mason and I will. All right. We'll go ahead. Mother. Yeah. I will secure her finger hand. Her to secure the woman. Okay. She is knocked out. Knee in the back. Arms in the back. Okay. Um, I, I can assist. I can see if she's got any weapons. Do I don't know what kind of equipment we have. We don't have like razor tape or anything like that. I can just use duct tape. Zip I guess. ties or something. Um, Do we have sealant for arm or sealant? You have. To, you have. Uh, you basically have uh, duct tape. Yeah, then I will duct tape her hands behind her back. Okay. Good job, Pam. And, and then then strip her down of any check ready communications devices. On her. <laughs> and I will not be gentle. There is a she has a PDAT, <laughs> so she has basically not she has a nineteen eighties iPod or iPad. Pocket that. Um, she has a knife. Pocket that. Uh, a grenade. Oh. Pocket that. Or share it with a friend. Yeah, and uh, and that's it. <laughs> okay, and then then duct tape her mouth closed unless we have armor patches, and I'll slap that on her mouth. Yeah, sure. Uh, there is, and there is the visor on the ground next to her that she slapped Ooh. off the other guy's head. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll look at our bro- our ribbed our broken rib doctor all right, and go. All right, all right. That's go. all you can do in this amount of time. Okay. What is everybody else doing? Running after that thing. I'll, yeah, I'll do the Mason uh, and I are running after the thing. So. Yeah. Okay. No, no. All right. I'll move at an appropriately ridiculously low speed toward the action. Okay. Well, so Wasabi, why don't you stick with stay with um stay with me? So us. Yeah. Okay. As soon as I get there, I will. Yeah. <laughs> uh who follows? Just I need to show hands. Uh Doc okay. will go. Chopper, Doc, uh Mason, Mason and Mac. Mac. And Great. start to storm. So you yes. all you all take off at a dead fuck? run. I thought they were gonna. You all t- all uh, everyone I... who just said that everyone his name I yep. just said takes off at a dead run. Um, dead so run. it's me. So it's me. Anders, a scientist, and Wasabi. Yeah. Yep. And me. No, but you, you just raised you your hand. Yeah. To leave. Oh. So what you see? He's been drinking. As you okay. see. Stop it. <laughs> meters and meters ahead of you, this flaming giant waving. It's I don't know, giant like arms. Can we just say <laughs> fiery illuminated. Fiery illuminated. <laughs> Incendiary. <laughs> uh, run and loses its way, but somehow t- keeps turning and runs straight towards the cliff edge and over it into, into the drop the below. Shit. Oh. Well, that's where I would the water's stop. at, right? That is where the waterfall is, yes. Yeah, so I, I mean, I'm going to fire down the over the the overhang. Yeah, you, you certainly... So in the uh, you still see a little ember burning in the water uh, as, <laughs> as it goes down every so often. It's very hard to hit. Um, you, try, you throw rounds down there as much as you can. I mean, it, it's extreme range. Um, but you don't know if you hit it. You don't know where it went to. It's just gone. It's e- it's either in the river, under the waterfall, in some cave systems, or smashed on the rocks below. But you can't see it anymore. Uh, do we tell Sarge? Do we do we talk about this with anybody? Or yeah, or I will. Like- well, uh, if, <laughs> I will get on the radio and say, Sarge, uh, I don't think the big guys are a problem anymore. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, he's still out there. He's just not our problem anymore. It, is it possible that these are actually the uh, Octurians' gods? Or what they would call gods? They clearly have advanced technology. Uh, Doc, if they were running around our planet, I would call them gods. They're really tall and could actually tear through metal and jump over cliffs. I think, yeah, they're probably their gods. And the worst part is, for some reason, they were in some sort of suicide cult that everyone wasn't, everyone wasn't a part of. Like, get in the sarcophagus and wake up in a couple of years. But trick... We're actually going to just burn you alive. I don't you know. Just it see the kind of size of his hog. Oh my god, it was huge. It was like literally an arm tied to him. Like what the fuck? Oh, stop it. Okay. <laughs> For the re- so now, the rest of you, the woman that you've that you've tied up uh, mm-hmm. comes around. Uh, bruise uh, looks like it's forming on her face. 
Wait, 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 stop. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's up? Oh my god, he did it, didn't he? He did. Idiot. He did what? Fool. The fallen gods are awakened, and the angel of death has been released. They're not gods. No, they're not. The creatures well, that were here before. What's the problem here? Where are the children? What, what do you, Molaram? Hey, uh, the lady, what was the problem here? The, there were more of them on the surface. You just killed the last two that were here. What What? What do you want? No, the children of the Arcturian. The Arcturian children. Oh. Oh, yes. no, they killed those. They killed those and threw them in the river. Oh. They, 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 they're fanatics. They had no regard for science. What happens if they, um, I don't <laughs> I believe just, her. I just, I don't believe her. Look at her with like, and you went along with these fanatics to get your goals scientifically. I didn't have much. Of Is a that right? Mother well, what do you, what, what choice? What, I look what over at the other what? scientists and say, there's a little difference between the two, except for maybe one had a moral standing and the other did not, or just a funding. One no, no, wait, wait, hold on. When I hear that we don't have much choice, what does it mean you didn't have much choice? She was dragged here along with it, it. Everything started out as, uh, as research and... Oh, okay, okay, you know what? I'm going to use a philosopher who said, Bitch, you are shunned! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I, go, I, go, I go, we'll deal with it at the trial. You'll need your whole entire dissertation and overall yeah, yeah. testimony of what is okay, occurred guys, to you Okay, guys, look, our, that's, that's great. Have you disarmed the nuke yet? It doesn't what? matter. Guys, we're getting off this fucking... What the fuck? As of last matter. week, we're getting off this fucking... I go, I go, I go, I go, where's the nuke? It, it's, outside, the nuke? It, it's outside of the main chamber, hidden hidden near the altar. I can show it's you. It's hidden near... Yes. All right, guys. Oh, it was a metal thing by the altar. Okay, yeah, yeah, why don't you come yeah. and... Sh yeah, let's I, let's take look, her back I, out I, there, Sergeant. I won't, I won't resist. Uh, it's probably best. I go, I go, I look over the other doctor, who's probably picking up the visor, and said... She wasn't resisting. She was just really intent to research. <laughs> so She's got broken ribs. Yeah. So I would not suggest resisting. Okay. And don't be too curious. All I right. go, Doc, don't look at those lenses. They'll probably fry your brain. B Mason, <laughs> we're ignoring everything that you have to say about any decency. We're getting right. off this fucking rock. <laughs> uh, Mason, I, have a, I have a photo shoot in 24 hours. Let's get out of here. We found the bomb. Let's all get back together and get together and, and, so and you, finish the mop up. So you you do you take her out? You take her out by the the. Uh, oh, we, oh, we take her out. You sure yeah, she's not they, lying? Once the squad is back together, then we'll move out. Go, go, is anybody can, sure you, she's not lying? You can make you can make an empathy roll. Okay, I'll try is that there? empathy roll. I, uh, I, uh, actually, you can make command. You can make a command. Yeah, roll. yeah. So sergeant has a or straight roll. or straight. He empathy. doesn't believe anything she's saying. We're getting off of here. That that's well, a roll. about the kid. What if they're lying? I'll make an empathy roll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, Halifax, zero successes, but you can push it. You did push it, and no actually, success. I didn't push it yet. Oh no, that's okay. Mason. Mason, roll stress. You keep it together, okay? Yeah, I'm pissed because I'm stressing out because there might be kids here that uh, might be killed. So Halifax, what about these kids? Halifax, you can push a roll. I thought I, I thought I did push it. You didn't. Hold on, uh, gang. What, what role would Sean Mahoney have? Would it be empathy or, uh, or command roll? Okay. Now, for me, it's empathy. Right, I don't listen, have a command. Listen. Halifax, may yeah. push the roll. Go back and push the push button. Okay, you got one success. You believe that she is telling the truth. Oh, oh about about, Sir, about about the nuke. Sarge, I think she's telling oh. the truth about the nuke. I can't say about anything else. The rest can be taken out during intense questioning. You can tell by the way her <laughs> her shoulders are slumped. She just she thinks that this is yeah. She 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 feels defeated. I go, don't worry, mother. What? What, your, what, your overall what knowledge and observations will make you valuable just, just, to any just, corporation out just, there. Just Mishka. Just just call me Mishka. Mishka. Don't worry. Okay. Well, Wayland right, look, will be very happy. On, to I, have can, you. The, the nuke yeah. is set on a timer. Can we hurry this up? Yeah. So we'll go out there to get the nuke. What do we need to get All rid right. of the nukes? Comtex? So you approach this altar, this stone wall, this stone altar. Mm -hmm. Um and you see the glint of metal you saw before. Mm -hmm. Oh, wasn't wasn't the nuke? Uh, there's a chalice. Not a new car. Damn it. Old. It's the grill. metal. 
It's it's the covered. Grail. It's covered in f- black fungus, uh, but a part of me- a part of the metal is uh, is still showing. It, it sh- reflected off your light, and it's next to the altar, next to the waterfall. Um, and she goes, she goes. It's it's secured on the other side. There's a combo to the lock. So it's a metal. What just a it's a shell from so, the palace. So you see, you see the shit. You see. You see this this uh, this altar. It's overgrown. It's overgrown with this with the black fungus you saw before. There's a chalice on the ground next to it. On the far side, there's a box with it looks like a combo lock or something. With on a it. new dick chopper. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll go. Dick chopper. Yeah. Can you burn this shit what? clean? Chalice. Yeah. Okay. Let me move around in the bomb. New chalice. Did you say chalice? Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you pick it up? So you go over and you grab it's the chalice. It's covered with fungus, dude. Uh, oh, I just, I God damn it. Like, oh, I was yeah. going to burn yeah. that. Just, you look over. It is, co- it. it is covered in blood. Make an observation roll. Okay. So it's covered in the fungus. It's the same the shit was, we saw before. thing I was going to look for. Yeah. Observation. No successes. Would you like to push it? Sure. One success. It is covered in the same fungus that threw spores at you earlier. Okay. All right. In fact, a lot of the, a lot of this area is okay. And what okay. killed that fire? That was the only thing that killed it. Mm-hmm. Fire killed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. move around to the bomb. Okay. Yeah. See if it's covered with fungus. The or bomb is pat- the bomb is on the lip, closest to the waterfall, out of the, out of the view from anybody coming up. Uh, there is a there is a large locked uh, locked crate. Okay. <sighs> Hey, Tyr. Based on my yeah. experience, what type of skills okay. do we need to open this lock? Just open a second. This. So, Tyr, while they're messing with the lock, I'm going to talk to uh, Mishka. We'll get to that when they get done. Okay. She, she gave you the combo for the lock. Yeah, you. so I, I'm going to go. So, I'm, so if I see anything, if I see like the mold spores between me and yeah. the bomb, yeah, I'm going yeah. to toast it. That's the thing. We clear a path and then right. we'll. Yeah. So, all right, you you toast you toast your way up there. You get yep. to the lock. You put in um you put in the code, and a square opens up, and there is a scanner. A scanner, not a bomb. It's no, no. It's on the. It's part of the lock. A scan. A, a, oh, okay. a, a little slide comes down with a scanner, and she goes, "It's a thumbprint scanner." For who? Well, the guy you just roasted inside. One of the other guys that you just killed, and me. Get over here. Uh, oh, one of you want to walk me over? I'll drag her Actually, over. no, 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 no. Just, I said, her Just take her hand. Take she, her she's hand. she's let her, she holds up her, she holds what? up her, her, her taped hand. She's like, stop. One of you want to walk me over? Stop. Wait a minute. Why, why is your thumbprint on this thing? Uh, because I used to lead them before they became fanatical, insane and cultists. what were you doing in there with these big creatures that count on fire? Yeah, so it's really hard for you guys to have this combination. You're screaming at the top of your lungs. Um, so just I just need a thumb. Ba- just, or I'm just, just, this ba- just bear this. Bear this in mind. So you're screaming this in the conversation. So you're losing some of what you get. She's like, research. God damn it! Crazy. Come fuck. You got- I just go into comtech, comtech, comtech. Who's, and, who's got good contact? I do. It's my job. Will you just shut me? Are you going to try to bypass the thumbprint scanner? Yes, and I'll push it if I need to. Go. Uh, all right. Yeah. Go ahead and make you. That is not. That is not enough. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh okay. Three successes. Three successes, but roll your stress. Roll your panic. Nervous twitch. Ooh, that's not good. Your thumb brushes across the scanner while you're trying what? to disarm it. Red lights start flashing, and a timer starts going. All right, go give me a thumb, guys. You see, you see that there is. already on a timer. You see that there is. A, you, you see that there is a timer on the crate. What, what does this timer read? This timer has a two-minute warning. Get me a thumb now. I drag her over. You drag her over. Okay, this is that's a shit good. show. Um, okay, um, so you drag her over. You get to the edge. Uh, and if she, I have to chop off her so hand you, to put it on there, so, I swear to God, so I'll yeah, do it. She, she's not fighting you. She's let you put. She let you take her hands out there. Mason, what's your strength? My strength is five. Okay, great. Okay, so she puts her thumb on there. The timer okay. goes zero zero zero. It unlocks. 
I pull her away. She elbows you in the gut. No, I'm waiting for you. Her. I am waiting ah, for. Her. She was waiting for you too. She is a lot stronger than she should be. You fucking uh, idiots. Okay, well, then I'll I fire. shoot her. Yeah, you, can, I'll just you, shoot her. you can. She jumps off the cliff. Just you, rolls right off the cliff. You fucking. You look as she goes down. She hits the wall. There's a there's a shower of metal. She's a robot. And then she hits the water. You fucking idiots. I start yelling at all of them. You fucking jackasses. You didn't see this? None of you asked the right fucking questions? What type of fucking sergeant are you? God <laughs> damn it. I'm fucking yeah. leaving. And yeah, I, just leave. st st I start walking Storm, away. Storm's like, but you was hot. Um, so so it, is the, the bomb, bomb disarmed? I'm or leaving. Do I, still have I just flat out am leaving. I'm the, walking the fuck out of here. The bomb, Doors open. Hi, Mason. The, the, the bomb on the crate is disarmed. But the bomb inside... The bomb, the bomb inside, has a three hour, three hours and counting on the countdown. Okay, okay. so we'll begin taking the time to try and see if it's arm that one. Yeah. So is that heavy machinery or is that Comtech? Right, guys, guys, calm down. Take the bomb in the crate, throw it over the same cliff as fucking robot went. Let's uh, and let's move on. It, it's just, just that works, simple. Sarge. It's just a, why not? It's physics. <laughs> You guys hear something over the radio. Physics. <laughs> and oh. you see something pop up on your HUDs. Mm -hmm. Step away from the bomb. Move back. This is an order. I will meet you back in the chamber. Which chamber? Uh, the chamber with the big flaming aliens in it. Okay. That's the way I happen to be walking, by the way. I'm going to meet him. For, who's that from? Who's it, who's it from? So walking in the back of the chamber. We got three hours, don't we? Three hours. Is, yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, three hours is a lot. Yeah. you Twelve Marines in black on black outfits. Ladies. Where the fuck were you assholes five minutes ago? No unit insignias. <laughs> I think they're here to just, kill us, girl. Just uh, <laughs> no, na no name, uh, no visible, no visible tags really nice gear uh all walk in is like all right this is a fucking shit show here we're 20 parsecs out aren't we fuck yeah. uh, <laughs> oh i go oh you're right it is my name is staff sergeant lance okay sure it is. lance okay good so i'm taking charge of the scene okay, lance. you 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 you're all with us yeah. No outside comms. Nobody talks about what's going on here. Nobody talks about what you've seen. You don't take anything. Take that doctor into into uh, take her into custody. Put her in some real cuffs, and we are going to get that nuke, and we are going to walk our asses out of here. I have a question. Do they have real cuffs? Because we aren't issued shit that's real. So I'm just wondering. <laughs> yeah. like, so, so if it's a shit right, show, right. there, talk there, to command. There was there was absolutely no, there, there was no question when those orders were given. His unit went right in, right into action. There are still barrels up everywhere, out in everywhere. These guys are on full, fu full fucking alert. I thought like professionals are showing up. I just go, okay, thanks. And I, I guess keep walking and brush through them. Uh, <laughs> I do, I you do get, not. You get butt stroked. You are butt stroked in the not. fucking I neck. Just, I just sort of just. Three fucking Marines. I just do what I'm You drop to do. like a sack of goddamn potatoes. That's, that's fine. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done. And it's like. The sar it was like staff sergeant gave an order. You're gonna fucking listen. Blow me. Um, and they, 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 you're putting cuffs. Okay, fine. Like, Is anybody else gonna disregard orders? No. Nope. I was marching out like you told me to, asshole. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you, now, now you, now you're being leaded, and now you're let out in cuffs with the rest of the team. Is That's everybody fine. else. Okay. You guys are walked out of a. You guys are walked out through this main through these main chambers through the chambers you come through. There are additional uh, additional what you can assume are special ops unit. Again, no unit markings, no, the but, they, are here. Uh, but they definitely have, um, they have a Marine bearing, they have Marine ranks. Uh, they refer to themselves this way. Uh, they take you out through a different set of tunnels than you came in. Did they look like they make those tunnels or they just no, found other tunnels? They just, they knew a different way. Okay. They take you out, uh, through a different chamber that comes up out into the sunlight. You do not go back through the Grand Kivas. Hmm. What a bunch of dickheads. They had a different way in. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you were basically you were, you emerge from the you emerge on the top of one of the mesas. Um, so you have climbed stairs after stairs after stairs. Uh, you ascended a couple of gra- uh, a couple of ropes. You get to the top. Uh, it's windy. It's sunny. And it's like all right. It's like they uh, they 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 take the doctor. They take the PDAT. All right. It's like all right. We're uh, we got a dropship incoming. Uh, now we- I have a question. Which PDAT do they take? They take the doctor's pee at the one that's uh, broken. Well, it's cracked. The cracked one. Okay. Do they yeah. find Doc's sample? Uh, they do. Uh, they haven't searched us. They haven't found yeah, a sample. Searched they, us. Haven't they, us. Searched they haven't checked. They ha- I have mothers. I have mothers pad. They haven't searched us yet, but they probably will. Okay. You guys are effectively under guard at this point. Yeah. You you don't feel like you have the you don't have the freedom. Uh, you have a, aside from the cuffs, you have about the freedom that Mason does. If anybody's bleeding has any obvious wounds, you'll get immediate first aid. Oh yeah, somebody's got a broken ankle. Yeah, but they, uh, but beyond first aid, all they do is they have you line up in a corner. I was like, all right, you're going to accompany us back to our ship and our HQ. We're going to have gag orders. We're going to, uh, you know, and they're they're on the phone. Is like, and then you hear something. Is like, you hear a familiar voice over the radio. Mom, and I was like, I don't think that's the case. Mm. And you realize that's going to your. Yes. Dropship comes out, and where they're looking for a dropship, they all turn and they see one of the Tombatons dropships comes lands on the far edge of the mesa. Gunny come Gunny comes out with guns out with uh, with the second half of uh, Alpha Squad. Wait, are, are we like Data Delta Shift? Oh, you guys are you guys are really <laughs> we are like Delta control. Shift. Yeah, like, you, guys, <laughs> you guys are the night shift, night shift. That's like, like Star Trek Delta Shift. Uh, we're the second we're shift of the night shift. Just, yeah. <laughs> Staff Sergeant, I'll be taking over here. I don't know who the hell you are and what unit you're from, but these are Tombaton soldiers. That's our gear. That's our stuff. You got Gunny. We have precedent too, and there's a little bit. Of, like you can tell there's a little bit of a pissing match going on. It's like we have orders, and they produce a PDAT. Do you? And he's like, he goes through the PDAT. He goes, "All right, take the gear, but those soldiers aren't in your order. Those are my soldiers." Sar- and the staff sergeant is like, "Fuck, they are." You know, I will get. I'll get clearance for that. He's like, "Fucking JSOC. How do you think you're going to do that? By the time I get back, it's like. It's like your dropship. Oh, it got redirected. It ain't gonna make it here in time. Two more Tombaton dropships drop out of the cloud. Uh, out of the cloud layer. It's like it's oh, all this paper mache. I'm, it's like it's, I'm, also- it's like I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid your orders are not gonna come in time. Soldiers, get on the fucking ship. Get on the fucking ship. I stand up. I say, somebody take these cuffs off me. One of you clowns. They just stand there. Just like, come on. It's fine. Mason, at, reason for sex I'll later. Each I just drag Mason along. <laughs> so there's one guy. So a lot of these guys have they have the fucking blackout masks on. Mm-hmm. You know they have rebreathers and they have blackout masks mm-hmm. on. One of them, uh, Mason, make an observation roll. Is he cute? No, mm-hmm. no. Just this is this is just. Does he, for Mason. Does he look clean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mason. Um, you uh, you look at him, and he looks real familiar to you, like real familiar. And you look at you look at it like you you see him like you see him pull pull his goggles down a little bit, and you 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 see a blue eye and it wings at you. Oh, and and it it closes and he puts it back. Only you only you see this. I look. So I I take a step. And he's he's in the back. He's in the back. I take I I keep my tone the same, and I go. I'll see be seeing you fuckers around, and hopefully you won't be seeing me around. And then I just start walking away. Yeah. So you all get on. You all get on the bird. And you lift off for this automaton. As you're lifting off, you see another dropship coming in. Different model. More advanced. <laughs> God damn it. And uh, it's landing on the plateau as you guys are pulling. Chase always gets the It doesn't crash or anything. It doesn't have any trouble landing. There's no, it's like, the landing gear come out smooth and alien-free. How come they have nicer <laughs> stuff than us? Like, and, so you see, it has uh, sparkling as, water. As you, as you say that, and, uh, yeah, as, and, and Gundy's cutting you free, Mason. It's like, it's like, it's like, because those son of a bitches are fucking some black ops o- operation with connections like you wouldn't goddamn believe. You are all under a major gag order. You do not speak of what happened on this planet 
unless the order comes directly from the commander of the Tomaton until you hear otherwise. Do you get me? Yes, Scotty. Yes, sir. Yes, Scotty. And what's the commander's Hi, name? Does it matter, Stars? Or <laughs> commander's <laughs> name is Hicks. <laughs> You're lucky that we had a civilian signal uh, that we had ba- we could backpack on and That's find right. and find out where where you were all you fucking yokels are from. We lost you when you hit planet. hadn't heard of, hadn't heard from you in fucking hours until we decided to bring both Alpha and Delta squads down. When we get back, debrief with the commander. Right now, rest up, heal up. Good job, Marines. Ooh, that's good. And you make it back to the top. We didn't die. We didn't, didn't die. die. And while the sergeant sleeps, this I is weird. Let's get as far away from this planet as possible. And that is where and that is where your adventure is going to end tonight. You've been listening to the AARPG's actual play story, Aliens Arcturian Apocalypse. Your game mother for this adventure was Tyr. Our unit of colonial marines, the Junkyard, were played by Malcolm as Lance Corporal Maxwell Halifax, the unit's combat technician. Matt as Daryl Doc Dodson, the unit's hospital corpsman. Nathan as Richard Chapowski, the unit Seaburn Defense Specialist. Sean as PFC George Mason, the unit's breaching specialist. Chris as PFC Jenna Mac McDaniels, the unit's smart gunner. Kupo as Sergeant Storm, the unit's squad leader. And Tim as Lance Corporal Wasby, the unit's dropship pilot. The Aliens role-playing game is brought to you by Free League Publishing. Arcturian Apocalypse is one of the mission scenarios included in the Aliens Colonial Marines book. We use the Foundry VTT to play this story. Music and sound effects were licensed from SoundQ, Soundly, Boom Library, and additional audio was created by our very own co-host, Nathan. Again, thank you for tuning in. Please like, follow, subscribe, and leave a review to help us reach more listeners. And remember, you're never too old to roll. And and nice. and Sarge, I just want to say, see, I told you you're okay with you if, if, if you're with me. Oh wait, I think your dad's calling. Hold on. I think yeah. No. <laughs> There's so much disappointment in his voice. Okay. I'm Dude, that your... was a great adventure. Thank you so yeah, much. It was. Thank you so much. Well, that thank was you. that thank, was pretty thank awesome. Thank you all. Awesome. If you ever want to come back to it, we'll play the next the, the, one. The uh, stress level was always up here. Yeah, that's <laughs> one thing it did a really good that job of keeping choosing. it. You chose to have stress. No, you guys, you guys push like to make the rules. rules. Push the rules. That was my father. <laughs> my father was a goddamn hero. I was so, so happy. To- a shame his son's not. So thank you all for playing. I really appreciate <laughs> yeah, thank it. You. it was Thanks good. for all our listeners at home. Yeah, really yes, appreciate you sticking so with us. Maybe like, we'll subscribe. Come- yeah, like and subscribe, hit that yes. button. Maybe yep. we'll come back to the alien world another day. Um, absolutely would love it. I had a great time. I know I think you guys did. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. I I Thank had you. a great time Thanks, with, uh, with about ninety percent less tank aliens at the last moment. <laughs> I, I was waiting for the uh, rhino alien. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, we did have the. No, uh, he had one. He just jumped in the. Uh, he just jumped in the river. Yeah. All right. So we, I, I. So we we cut. So I will tell you. Yes, oh, Gunny. Gunny, she was an android. That's why she was way stronger than you. I know. Wow, um, that was that was uh, that could have been very bad for all of us. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the- especially when we tried to take her thumb. <laughs> yeah, that would have that would have gone terribly wrong. Yeah. Um, but anyway, smart gun still has something to say about. Thanks it. everybody. I had a great time. Sorry, I rushed it there a little bit at the end, but I want us to finish tonight. So no, it's good. Yeah. As I said, it's been recorded. recorded. Yes. In, uh, OBS. Think about recording. that. I, uh, I had a little on. bit. Uh, Nathan, how do I sound? I had a little more. Nathan, I had a little more. I had a cold, me, so I'm feeling okay. kind of, you know, nasally. Let, let me stop because I've been recording for 14 minutes. I'm going to spare you all that.
Let me stop. No, no, you should oh, totally. I'll keep in mind. Three, yeah. two. <laughs> okay, recording. We've all been recording longer. I'm going to just make me make well, we go through it. Then we have to do our yep. yeah. clappies. Yeah. All right. One, two, Sean. Two. Sean Three. <laughs> Clap. All right. Sorry, I was Now we all have the clap. Yay. Hello, and welcome to the Advanced Age Role Playing Gamers Podcast. We are. Nathan, you are very low. Yeah, oh, we you can't are. hear you, Jim. Yeah. Try it again, yeah. please. Could you try to fix your audio, please? Yeah. Audio you can guy. Use your God, voice. I'm good in here. And so. project. Come on. Do you need a boom mic? Uh, your levels, your your levels are good. Oh, uh, How close are you to the mic, Nathan? Do you have the mic yeah, the right distance? Close enough. Put the mic in your mouth. Come on. All right. And again.